Okay, Scorpio, so what does this mean for you? My sexy, sensual Scorpios. Okay, so Mercury is doing the backwards, the moonwalk, and planting themselves right in your ninth house. Right in that ninth house, Mercury's getting all wonky, and what this means for you is that signals can definitely get crossed right now. Ninth house is the house of the truth teller, the speaking a little blunt, speaking really fast. So I want you to think about, oops, let's just slow down before I fire off that text or that email or say that thing. Just take a deep breath before you speak. It'll really pay off for you. And the do's here would be about, yeah, do revisit um, some old like books about philosophy and travel. There's something in your Mercury in your ninth that wants you to like, rekindle some desire for something that's a little bit more broader and a little bigger in terms of like your world view and your personal philosophy. Um, I'm going to say don't just run your mouth too much. <laughs> Do speak your truth, but don't um, speak your truth if you're trying to, uh, it's not your truth, but don't speak a truth that feels like it's trying to hurt someone, cut someone down. Um, yeah, the tongue can be kind of sharp and quick when Mercury goes retrograde through the ninth. So we just want to look out for that. Um, but also really, like I said, the other do is like Mercury and Cancer is a lot about the nonverbal communication. So I want you to spend some time like maybe revisiting, re-listening to, re-watching like old movies you love that help teach you about different cultures, um, documentaries, podcasts, um, songs. If there's things that help you just feel like connected, like this global citizen of the world, this would be a great time to just re-refresh yourself on those, okay? So I also pulled a card for you for Mercury Retrograde, and let's see what your intuitive message is. Ooh, jump in. Andromeda energy, adventure. Say yes to change. So this is such ninth house energy. Ninth house is the house of adventure. So letting this revisiting... Um, those things I was talking about might stoke in you, might create a spark or a seed for some big adventure that you're going to go on. Like maybe it's just down the galactic rabbit hole. This would be a good time to maybe even study some metaphysical things and those like things you read about other dimensions and they kind of like blow your mind. But yeah, this is a great time to kind of stretch your mind and not really worried about um, how to communicate it so much, more just the feeling into it and experiencing it. So I hope this helps Libra, oh, Scorpio, oh my God, sorry, Scorpio. Um, let me know in the comments below like what resonates for you in this and yeah, how you're feeling this month and, and if this kind of connects with anything you're going through. You know, I love hearing from you all.